How's it going guys? Kels Prime here and today we come with some good news in the world of Anthem. Yes, you heard that right, we have some good news in the world of Anthem. So it seems after yesterday's post by Jesse regarding loot where he said there would be news coming in the upcoming days, that upcoming day was less than 24 hours away. In the report, Bioware states, as you can see on screen right now, in the latest server-side update, we've made some notable changes to the loot drop rate in specific scenarios, which will take effect immediately in a server-side tuning update. You will not need to download anything, which is one of the best things about Anthem because everything is server-side when it comes to this sort of thing. So it's really easy to tweak once they've actually decided on a set value, right? So these changes include two things. Masterwork and Legendary drop rates have been increased for Grandmaster 2 and Grandmaster 3 difficulty levels. Now this is really important because up until now, Grandmaster 2 and 3 were pretty much redundant. There was no reason to do these because the drop rates just sucked and, and though the difficulty level was higher, the drop rates really weren't that better. But now, the drop rates have been increased for Grandmaster 2 and 3, not Grandmaster 1, and considering how easy Grandmaster 1 is right now, it's definitely worth going into Grandmaster 2 and giving it a try. I haven't had a chance to jump into this yet. This was only brought to my attention not so long ago by a follower on my Twitter account called Chris Wayne, so thank you very much for that. But it's nice to see that this update has finally come. I hope that this will finally put the loot system back where it should be, and it will provide people with an avenue to go out farming for that legendary and masterwork items. So it, let me know in the comment section below how Grandmaster 2 and 3 is working for you. It's worth noting that it does say Grandmaster 2 and 3. It doesn't say Stronghold. It doesn't say Contracts. So though Contracts and Strongholds should drop these, Free Play should also increase the drop rate when it comes to Grandmaster 2 and 3. So it's worth just diving in straight to Grandmaster 3 and just flying around Free Play and giving it a whirl because at this point in time, it should. Whether this update is immediately effective on the game client, I don't know. I have heard it takes a couple of hours for it to actually propagate and reflect itself on certain platforms. You may need to log out and log back in. So if you're watching this video on the 15th of the 3rd at 6.11 GMT, it's worth logging out of the game right now and logging back in. So that's point one. Next we go over to point two. Masterwork and legendary drop rates have been increased for harder enemies at all difficulty levels. This includes Legendary Titans, Epic Titans, Legendary Fury, Legendary Acid Ursix, and Legendary Luminary Elder. So all of these enemies now have their drop rates increased, so we should be seeing better drops from these as well. So the next time we see the event Let There Be Giants, it's definitely now worth going out and farming these in the free play instance, because the chances of them dropping loot, especially at GM3, is gonna be extremely high. Just don't expect it to be a pushover unless you've been farming all this time for that perfect roll and that perfect loot. Of course, then you have the whole problem with the whole power level scaling, but that's for another video. Well, I thought this was really awesome. I've wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. The fact that this change has come in so soon after Jesse's post is amazing. It has taken a while to get here, so I'm not going to say it was the quickest update ever. I appreciate talks had to be made in the background and discussions had to be made to make sure the drop rate was at a point where they were happy to give it to the community. But that aside, you know, it's here. The community wanted high drop rates. Bioware has delivered high drop rates. So for those that were holding off and staying away from the game, and not playing because the drop rates pretty much sucked, well, hopefully this fix will get you enticed and interested in the game a bit more and have you flying around the world of Anthem, defeating enemies and getting that precious loot. Leave a comment below, let me know how you're finding the update. Has it increased in drop rate? Has it not? Has it encouraged you to go out and play more? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, don't forget to share so more are aware of this awesome update by Bioware. And until the next video, remain legend.